The endless shamrock garland hides a secret. It looks like individual shamrock motifs work together, but it's made up of a single strand of yarn. This means that you can make it as long as you want, and there are only two ends to weave in when you're finished. Visit edieckman.com slash endless dash shamrocks for the written instructions and charts. Then crochet along with me as I show you how to do this fun technique. Begin with a chain eight. Then I'm going to chain eight. Work a crossover slip stitch in the fourth chain from my hook. So I insert my hook, pass that chain over my working yarn, and complete the slip stitch with a yarn over and pull through everything. Then four chains, a treble DC treble into the ring I just made. and then chain four and slip stitch into that same ring. That has created my first shamrock leaf and it's time for me to start working on the next leaf but also join and begin the next shamrock. I'll chain four and then one more chain that's going to go between the shamrocks and then chain eight slip stitch in the fourth chain from my hook and I'm going to make that a crossover slip stitch and do another leaf. So I'm working into that ring And there is my second leaf. Then I'll chain eight. Which is the tail at the other end of my garland. And then slip stitch into the back bump of the second chain from the hook and in the next seven chains. Now I'm going to start working back along the shamrocks I've already begun and all the stitches will be worked right here into this ring. Then chain five and work into the second back bump of the second chain from hook and each chain.
when I'm ready to go on to the next shamrock, I need to join my last treble by skipping the first four chains along here and slip stitching into the back bump of the next chain. That has created, completed, my first complete shamrock. So I'll just continue working across the entire row Complete the last leaf of the last shamrock by slip stitching into that fifth chain, then slip stitch in the back bump of each of the remaining seven chains. If you'd like more crochet instruction like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the links in the video notes for other ways you can find me. Thanks for watching.